what is the spirit of the urban tales? The urban tales are Christmas stories for people who don't particularly like Christmas. That's probably the smartest way to put it. You ever felt the monster inside you? Doesn't happen often. Well, I felt it, yes. Let me put it all into context. An afternoon in late October, I was paying for these boots. Oh my god, you had to see them, this gorgeous leather, like, plump, with a little heel, the cutest little heel at Brown's, half price, $230, fuck off. Now, I just had this fight with Julian. You know, my boyfriend with the dreadlocks who'd prefer to demonstrate, slash, hang out in LaFontaine Park with America's disenfranchised than go out with his girlfriend, Julian. It's gotten to where I just take out my credit card and I can feel him over my shoulder counting. Plus tax, 250. Plus that smart coffee, 253. Plus that hideous necklace from Ardennes, 263. Plus that lunch of no nutritive value, 285. Plus, plus... It wasn't always like that. But since we've been living together, since we've been sharing that mini closet in the bedroom, he's always on my ass. Seriously. And funny how his critique of my disastrous consumer habits just happened to start with his job hassling people on the street for Greenpeace, eh? Anyway, so I go to pay, and Visa, the bitch, does not want me to have my little plum boots. Worse, VV announces that I am in deep financial shit. The worst financial shit storm since the crash of 45. The cashier, who's trying to bury her zits under an inch of foundation, looks at me and says, wasn't accepted, with that tone. A little tone in her voice of, now you know me, right? Generally speaking, I am Miss Chill. So I say, must be demagnetized, and I walk out. I glide out, slowly, with dignity. Toodaloo. Christmas stories for people who um, look past all the fluff and Santa Claus and the snowballs and see more people rushing about, spending too much money that they don't necessarily have, and uh, in such bad moods from all such rushing about that the, the goodwill of Christmas seems very, very, very far behind as people cut in line and yell at sales girls and various other sort of things like that. I was walking around town, knocking on doors with a plastic snow shovel and a sign around my neck, AV Snow Removal Service. I didn't have much growing up. I was a quiet and sad kid. Nothing ever came easy. I never fit in anywhere. I was a square peg in a round world. I was walking by this church. It was late and dark. The church was all lit up and there was a sign outside. Church of the Blessed Virgin. Christmas Eve recital. Everyone welcome. I was cold and wet and tired so I go in. It was my first time inside a church. I sat on a long wooden bench beside a bunch of other people. Everyone was all dressed up. I was in my snowsuit. It was quiet and there were candles. Everything was glowing, big dark shadows and colored glass with strange, oh, disturbing pictures. For a while nothing happened. I felt scared and hot. I was just about to leave when I heard something. An organ, soft and powerful, like a big rough animal waking up. And then I saw them. I saw them coming up the aisle behind me, boys. A row of boys not much older than me. They were walking slowly to the front of the church, a procession in long red gowns and delicate white lace collars, their smooth round faces, their small red mouths, their white skin like angels. I leaned forward. My whole body was tingling. My breath trapped inside my body. My heart started to race. They arranged themselves at the front of the church. The sound of the organ got louder. They opened their mouths. their voices, the sound of their voices, all together so pure and clean, my body, my whole body, something woke up in me, something inside me, deep down, climbing up my throat, my mouth opened, and it, uh, it came out of me, this sound, it erupted, this voice, it filled the church, it rained down, it covered the congregation, everyone was gobsmacked, everyone turned to look at me, I was frozen, the choir master walked over to me, his face was wet with tears. He was shaking. He took my hand. He lifted me up. He led me to the front of the church. The choir parted. He placed me in the middle of the soprano section, front row center. He unzipped my snowsuit. It fell to the ground like a dirty, wet rag. He placed a white lace collar around my neck like a wreath, a coronation, a blessing, a baptism. I was reborn. 
So these types of stories are written with that in mind and also very often to make sure that we understand that there are those people at Christmas time without means who are perhaps not having the best possible time either whose uh, financial and life situations are such that yeah Christmas is not a good time of year remember it's the time of the year where there's the most suicides